Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Mentromonic's first uh, market replay of 2013. Today is Friday, January the 4th, 2013. And we, before we get started with the replay on our three minute chart, let's take a look here at the um, 13 minute turning point chart. As you can see, we've, uh, we've got a, a couple days showing here. Uh, the space between the green and the red lines are the day session. The space between the, the, the red lines themselves uh, is the entire 24-hour uh, trading day. So you can see back here uh, on the second, we had a high-low, high configuration based on the parabolic on this time frame. Then we had four more turning points during the aftermarket slash pre-market. Um, and then on uh, the third, we had a low, high, low. So we should be expecting our first turning point today to be a high. And uh, we've had a high and a low in the aftermarket slash pre-market. So that uh, has a set up for the first turning point to be, uh, in fact, a high. So that's kind of what we're going to be looking for. We'll move that over here. And uh, we won't be watching the upper portion of that chart, but we will be able to see the oscillators. And as you can tell here, our longer term MACD is down near the zero line and is poised to make a bullish crossover here. And our uh, faster MACD on this time frame is also already in a bullish crossover. Plus, our stochastics are breaking. Uh, above the 50% level as well. Over here on the three minute chart, you can see that our longer term um, parabolic has just flipped here from uh, bearish to bullish. And one of the things that we want to do is um, watch out for areas of support and resistance as our uh, price moves forward. And one of the ways we can do that is with a Fibonacci grid. And uh, the question arises as to how we should uh, draw this grid. Uh, one of the ways that I found that works is to draw the grid between the highest high uh, on this bullish parabolic module created by the longer term parabolic and connect it to the lowest low of this bearish module right here. So we'd be drawing something like this from this high down to this low. Now you can see um, the price has already broken above the 100% level and uh, is on its way now to the 127.2% level. So um, we don't know where this thing is going to end up, but uh, chances are when it finally tops out, it's going to be relatively close to one of the uh, main Fibonacci ratios. Uh, and then, of course, we'll have other indications with our oscillators and so forth uh, that this thing is uh, ready to uh, turn around when that time comes. Now, it looks to me like we're pretty much ready to go higher right now. Uh, notice that our stochastic has risen. It, it, it went into the overbought zone, came back down, um, went below its parabolic and then has crossed back above it. And uh, we look, we're looking very bullish over here on the higher time frame. So I say let's go for it. Let's go ahead and uh, get long right at the outset here. And as we have been doing for a while now, we're using uh, nine contracts and, uh, and three targets with our peeling off strategy. Uh, we can go ahead here and move our stop up to the parabolic and uh, let's start the data and see what transpires. Kind of pop back over here to the margin we'll pull it back. Okay we're 50 times normal speed so let's see what we got going on here. Um, we're approaching the 630 mark. That's where that green line is. That will be the opening of our uh, day session. We've already hit the uh, initial target and moved the stop, so that's a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and put our arrow in here. 
Well, that didn't take long. We got stopped out with a little better than the uh, bare minimum here. So let's see what else transpires. Um, notice that our red moving average is still above the trend definer. And uh, white is at the moment above the red. Um, looks like things are starting to turn around. Let's wait until we get... Ah, uh, that's what we want. We've got a... Uh, bullish hook here on our stochastic and uh, likewise on our faster MACD, even a little bit on the slower MACD. So let's go ahead and get long again. And we will draw our arrow to indicate that we're in a new trade. And we'll start it up once again. Okay, hit the target, move the stop. Remember, we're expecting an initial turning point to be a high, and we've got the uh, longer-term parabolic already in its bullish posture. Oh, stopped out again. Did a little better this time, though. Our score is now 475, not too shabby for the first few minutes of the day session. Let's see if we get another shot here. Okay, another bullish cross on the stochastic. Looking mildly bearish over here on the longer term stochastic, but very bullish on the on the two MACDs here. So uh, let's get long. Well, we're taking a pretty uh, a deep dive here, but trend definer is still sloping up, and the red is solidly above it. And our stochastic has already turned around a little bit. We're finding pretty good support on the trend definer, so I think we're going to stay alive here. We're a long ways away from the larger parabolic as well. All right, we've got a bullish cross on our uh, faster MACD here now. That's a good sign. Well, we flipped the parabolic, but we're still short of our target. All right, hit the first target, move the stop. Now we can breathe a little sigh of relief there. Let's see what happens. We got almost up to the uh, 161.8 level, I think. This yellow line up here is the 200% uh, level, and notice that it's very close to the R1 resistance level based on our pivot points. All 
Well, we've got uh, some droop on our uh, MACDs here. Price is finding uh, pretty solid support here at this uh, 127 level. Be nice to hit that second target. Our parabolic is catching up to the stop here. We'll see if we what happens first. Do we get stopped out or? Do we start trailing? Okay, and we are stopped out, but we picked up a little bit more. Score is now 550. Well, we've got uh, some bearishness on both MACDs. Um, here's the story there, though. Notice that our longer term MACD over here is still very bullish. And uh, we've got a bearish hook on the stochastic, but before we can really get too excited about this thing going down, um, we really need to see this stochastic come out of the overbought zone on this time frame. If it stays above that, um, any drop here is potentially a fake out. So let's turn the data back on and see what transpires. Our faster stochastic is dipping here, but it did that before and not too much happened. The red is still a long ways away from our trend definer and longer term parabolic. All right, we've got a cross here now and we've got a hook on the stochastic and we can see little hooks on the stochastic and the faster MACD over here as well so let's take another shot on the long side now we're obviously past our uh, projected time for the first turning point, but that'll happen sometimes. So don't get too in love with predictions. Go with what the indicators are telling you at the moment. All right, we get long and turn on the data. Well, we hit the target, but haven't moved the stop yet. We're going to have to do it manually. Well, I would have been stopped out if I had done that. Let's see what happens. It's trying to creep up again. Now our stochastic is looking bullish again, so... flip the parabolic again now. If we'd been stopped out I would have gotten back in once we flipped the parabolic so it's sort of a no harm no foul situation here.
A lot of resistance at this uh, 161.8 level. We just now broke through it. Are we going to go to the next level? The 200% level? We just might. Looks like we hit the first two targets now. That's a good thing. Here's our third target. Now our automated stop movers kicking in here as we get up to the higher levels. We're above the entry point now even though our parabolic is still behind. Now we've broken the 200% level. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. We're uh, looking at a potential flip on the parabolic and there's not much time left and we basically um, just had one turning point. So um, if we're going to hold to the usual uh, arrangement where we have at least um, two turning points we got to flip this uh, longer term parabolic at some point. So um, I'm going to slow it down and if we flip this parabolic here, the faster one, the gold one, uh, I'm going to short this thing and uh, see if we can't um, get some mileage out of it. So I'm going to take this profit now. I'm going to close that out and I'm going to short this thing right here. And we'll start this up again. I don't know if my red line is in the right spot here. There's the parabolic flipping. Okay. And let's see, we are at 116, so we're going to close that out and uh, start that up just enough to close out the trade. And there we have it. We'll get this off of here. And let's do this. Now that we've changed the parabolic here, we know that this is the highest high of this momentum module. So let's see where our um, pullback came to. If we put this like so, Fibonacci retracement from this low up to this high, you can see that we drop down to the 38.2% level. Um, it's amazing how this works. Uh, these level, no matter which way you go with the grid, you'll find that the price tends to congregate at a uh, an important Fibonacci level. So. Um, we had this trade. We actually had one, two, three, four, five trades. And our turning points are going to end up looking like this. This is actually our one and only high. I'm going to make it red, although it's nowhere near the projected time. And this will be our low, which I will make blue. And we don't know what's going to happen on Monday, so I'm going to put a question mark there. But I think that there's a good chance that this turning point will hold so that we end up having two on Friday and I suspect that the market will go higher so that our first turning point will be a high on Monday and that will confirm that we had the, the two turning points today. 
This is very unusual. I have seen uh, turning points that were very heavily skewed to one side or the other. Uh, I think that the fact that this is kind of the tail end of a holiday week uh, where we had, you know, one day off um, kind of in the middle of the week, um, it's not really a normal situation. So uh, it's it's a wonder in, in some sense that we, we had it uh, as typical as it was. So in any event, we had five trades and um, 1,562.50 is what we could have made with nine contracts. So, everybody, good to have you back. I hope you all had a, a wonderful uh, holiday. Um, stay tuned to Mentor Mike's Market Movies from, for more information about the launch of our trading room. Um, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.